welcome to Lead Master. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the system by walking through each menu at the top of the navigation bar. The home menu will always take you to this page. This is your dashboard and information center. You can customize the charts on this page for each person and the charts are updated in real time. When you click on any region of the chart, you will see the results for that segment. On the left, you will find a menu that links your saved searches and reports, as well as your callbacks and records you've recently worked on. You also have the quick search. Just type in the first few letters or the last name of a contact and click go, and you'll see a list of records that match your search criteria. Remember, you can search by a number of options here. Please refer to our quick searches video for more detail. Accounts gives you a spread-like sheet view of the companies in your database and by default, the accounts are displayed in alphabetical order. You can change the order they appear by clicking on the attribute you want to alphabetize. An up arrow means they are in ascending order, and a down arrow means they are in descending order. You can also type the first few letters of your company name in the search box and click Go. You can change the columns on this page by clicking Change View. From this page, you also have options to do things like send an email, assign a record, and other advanced options. Contacts is similar to accounts in that it gives you a spread like sheet view, but instead of being listed by company, it displays a list by contact. I'll skip over reports for now and come back to it after discussing the search engine so that you'll know how to generate reports for a specific set of results. The library is a storage area where information can either be shared or private. This is a great place for all of your electronic information such as press releases, customer testimonials, flyers, and documentation. For example, by putting in prize lists in the library, you'll guarantee your sales team is up to date with the most current information. Records can be added individually or in bulk. There is a separate video on how to import your data into Leadmaster. Campaigns provides an easy way to set up marketing campaigns. Organizing records by campaign makes it easy to search and assign records. It also provides a way to track marketing effectiveness or marketing ROI. Many of the fields are customizable in the campaign setup area. Email marketing allows you to create and manage email templates. Launch a new email and report and measure the effectiveness of email campaigns you've already launched. The email templates are a convenient way to save templates you'll frequently use. They can be merged with fields from the database so that they can be personalized. For example, you may want to merge a contact's first name into an email. Launching a campaign email is an easy eight-step process. Just follow the steps from top to bottom of this page. Report on emails tells you who opened an email and who clicked on your links. Opening and clicking on links can be tied to a marketing automation system. For example, you may want to receive a text when someone clicks on a registration link in an email message. The Leadmaster built-in group calendar helps you keep track of appointments and callbacks for you and your team. Appointments and callbacks can easily be added to both companies and contacts. You can also search and report on callbacks and appointments. The Leadmaster Calendar is integrated with both Outlook Calendar and Google Calendars, so your Leadmaster Calendar will always be in sync with your laptop, desktop, and cell phone. Leadmaster has an extensive search engine allowing you to data mine against your CRM database. For example, you can search by any of the contact information, demographic information, lead status, campaign, forecast date, assigned territory, or rep when the record was entered, when the record was updated, callbacks, deal size, any combination of the above, and much more. Let's do a quick search for all the records that are associated with this campaign. Once I hit search, the results will be displayed, allowing me to easily download the records to a spreadsheet, save the results to my homepage, or chart the results. There are many other options here to help you assign records or perform mass updates to records. Reports takes you to a list of built-in reports that you can use to further gain insight into your company's leads and deals. There are a variety of pre-configured reports, for example, the lead status report, operating sales stage report, 
and the Industry Analysis Report, to name a few. Reports are either in row and columns of information or charts. Charts can be saved to the dashboard on the homepage for quick reference. Row and column reports can be downloaded, emailed, or printed. Both row and column reports can be saved as a shortcut on the dashboard. Reports can be filtered so they only show the information you want. For example, suppose you only want to see lead status for the campaign we searched for. Click on Records, Filter Data for Reports, select the campaign, and click Search. Then select the report you want. This chart is now displaying only lead status for that campaign. If you do not find a built-in report provided for the information you need, you can create your own custom reports by using the Custom Reports widget. You can set up a report to be delivered to you directly via email, either daily, weekly, or monthly. User settings is simply a place to store your personal preferences. In addition to saving basic user information, it also has sections for setting the date format and time zone, setting options for calendars and callbacks, including integration with Google Calendars by simply entering your Google credentials, setting up multiple email signatures for the emails you send, and finally, there are some configuration options, such as what name you would like to see when you click on the company name. The admin tool here is used to customize the many interfaces of Leadmaster. You will have to have access to this. And finally, log off will take you out of the system. This concludes our introductory tour of the Leadmaster system.